Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing well. My name is Dev and welcome back in Paddlecraft. So guys, in this video, we will going to show you how you can create a walk loop animation, loop walk animation at same place in Clo3D. And before starting this video, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, please subscribe it. And don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notification of our latest videos. You can also uh, mention any question in the comments. So I can create videos on those topics which will help you. So let's get started. So for creating the loop animation, first we need to export our Flow 3D model. Okay, and uh, we will use Miximo to create a walk animation so first we will export the our 3d model simply go to the file export and we will going to use fbx file format for exporting our model let me save this model recently i had created the this I am recording this video in second time because in first time my my mic is not working that's why I again need to create this video so new animation two okay so this is flow FBX so you can simply follow these settings. Uh, selected avatar we will exclude the rig because we will export our clone avatar without skeleton because in mixing we will add a new a new skeleton in our clone mode so just exclude the rig and we will follow the same settings just simply press ok and we will export our 3d model now we you just need to open the mixing of website i will also give the link in the description so you can directly open this website from there so now what we need to do we need to upload our character our character will upload in the mixing of platform As, as in the beginning of the video I had said, if, if you have any uh, topics and if you want I will create video on those topics, you can mention in the comment. So I will create videos on those topics also. So our avatar is uploaded here. Now simply press the next. Now we will add the all the markings. We will add this marking at the chin area. Wrist. Elbow. Knee. Okay, 
simply press next this will add the skeleton in our avatar this process will add a skeleton So guys, uh, our skeleton is added in our blue avatar. Okay. Now simply press next and next. So in first, what we will do, we will download the avatar in a port. Okay, with skin download. So we have downloaded our A post file. Now we will add the animation. So simply you can search the walk. And we will going to use the standard walk. This one. So this animation we will going to use, but we want our avatar to move to walk at the same place. So we will take this uh, walk at place. Okay. Now you can also increase the space between the arms, so it will not collide when we add or drag or grab our garment. Okay, now simply download. I want it in 60 FPS. Okay, so guys, our 50% work we had done our 50% work. Now, what we need to do, we simply need to add garment in our clothes avatar. Let me add some notes. to solidify so it will not drag while animation now we will add some t-shirts Okay. 
ไปว่าที่นี่จะอยู่ไหนเป็นไงจริงครับไอ้ตัวนี้ชุดมันมันคุ้นสุดแล้วเนี่ยสำหรับนอกจากนี้ก็ยังมีเซฟที่เซฟตาเอเซนต์ตัวเอฟตาเอฟตาเบ็กสตอร์ลงเลยเซ็นต์ตัวเอฟนี่กี่โอเคเดอะซีมโปรเซสที่เราจะทำก็คือวิดเดอะแอนิเมชันนี่คือแอนิเมชันไฟล์ฉันจะแสดงแอนิเมชันนี่คือเราแอนิเมชันโอเคฉันก็สามารถแสดงแอนิเมชันได้ด้วยดายเรียนซ์มโอเคน้าวเวอร์โอเพนวัสดุที่คุณเคยเซฟด์น้าวว่าที่เราจะทำก็คือเราจะเพิ่มตัวเอฟเวอร์ต้า And we will add the avatar which we have downloaded from the mixing and save as a glow avatar. The add avatar. Okay, so we had added our avatar, and now we can also add the animation file. You can also increase the frames from here, but uh, 60 frames is enough for me. Okay. Now our 90% work is done. Now what we will do? We will simulate the garment with the animation. Let me show you the animation. Okay. Now what are the settings we will use for the animation? We'll use animation stable. Okay. And uh, Reduce the speed of the simulation and press the any call button. Okay,
So guys, our animation is done, and let me show you how it look like. So we will start it from the sixty frames. And increase the speed at one and three. Now let me see how it look like. Okay, our loop animation is done, and I hope you will like this video. And if you like this video, don't forget to share this video with your friends and colleagues, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notification of our latest video. Thank you.